Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday. I hope everyone's had a lovely week and weekend so far. Mine's been all right, pretty standard, nothing wildly eventful going on. Um, work week was pretty bland. Yesterday I met up with a friend for just a little afternoon out, nothing fancy, just um, a little mini picnic over the park. Today is going to be pretty much a chill day. Once I've filmed this, I've got to do a few errands and then I'm just going to sit down and binge watch some really like mind numbing TV and try and edit my Edinburgh vlog at the same time. So that is me. Today, my lovelies, we are checking in for week, is it 31? Yeah, week 31, restuffing for week 32. Any money that's left over is going to be going into savings challenges. We're going to be reallocating the never have I ever money. We're going to be starting a new scratch off. Your secret safe with B. And then, actually, let's not put that there. And then what else? Oh, yeah, we're going to be playing the money multiplier. I think we'll see. I might change my mind. I'm still a little bit fuming from last week. Anyway, let's crack on with it. Let's just start by going through my purse and seeing what. Oh, oh, I don't know where that's come from. Ugh, how annoying. Three pan just fell out, and I don't have no idea where that just fell out from. Maybe it was miscellaneous. Mm, I don't know. Anyway, it's falling out from somewhere. Or was it? Mm, I think it was. Anyway, is there any more money in there hiding away? Waiting to pounce on me? No. Okay, right. Let's go through these. So, groceries has got nothing. So, I had 40. What? There we go. Nothing left over, so that's £40 spent. Travel. Got £2 left in travel, so I had 20 Left over is 2 so that is £18 spent. Miscellaneous, I've got £4. Oh, for Jesus. Right, so I had 40 Leftover is four, so that's what? 36. And then spending. So five pound left in spending. I had 20. Leftover is five, so that is 15 pounds spent. So I should have what? Five. Oh, for Jesus. Is that 11 pound? <laughs> it is, isn't it? Five. Jesus Christ, one day I'll learn how to count. Right, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so eleven pound left over, which means I would have spent what? That's going to be a hundred and nine? Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool beans. Right, moving on swiftly. Let's quickly restuff for next week. So as per, we've got £120 going in. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 15, and 20. So groceries is going to be getting 40. There we go. Travel is going to be getting 20. Miscellaneous is going to be getting 30. And then same again with spending. So 10, 20, 25, 30. Okie dokie. Right. So that is all the money sorted for my purses. What do I need? I need this one and this one. Let's pop these two away. And then let's just get rid of that for a minute and sort out what we're going to do with this leftover money. So £11. I think what I want to do is just complete this Christmas one because I think there's only a fiver left on this. So let's get that out. Oh, God's sake. 
Oh, what? Okay, so five pound left to go into this. So let's just mark this off for completeness sake and then just check we have a hundred smackaroos. So we've got 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. So that is going to go straight into my, oh, God's sake, stack. Straight into my Christmas envelope in here. Where are you at? There you go. So in Christmas, how much have I got? I need about 500. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60. Someone need what? Another 240? Is that right? I think so. Um, so yeah, but we're going to be starting a new Christmas one next week, I think. Actually, let me put that in. Actually, no, I won't. I'll start it next week. Right, so with this £6, I think what I'm going to do with this is just pop this in the cash caterpillar. So we've got another five. Yeah, so that's five and six. Right, mind your ears. Okay, so that's that sorted. Let's just pop this. I'm going to keep that 50p because that can go to the cash caterpillar. That's more we'll change. Can go in there. Jobs are good. And right. So let's uh, let's reallocate the money I saved. In Never Have I Ever, and then we'll do the games. So, I managed to save myself. Let's see. I think it's about 50 quid. So, yeah, 20, 40, 50. There you go. So, that is going to be going straight into my 10k, which is progressing nicely. We are getting there. I am literally on the home straight now. That's what I'm telling myself anyway. So 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Okay, so that is that. All done. And then, oh, right. Let's do the money multiplier. Okay, so I've got £30. So this challenge, oh, it needs to come in low. I'm going to switch my dice up and just caveat it with, if this comes out, why can't it just give me a low number? That's all I'm saying. If it does me dirty again, I'm going to... Oh, no. <laughs> all right it could be six lots of one. <laughs> oh, i'm gonna no i'm not gonna take that oh jesus ah six lots of three. Oh, i need the calculator for this i can't 18 okay i can live with 18 okay for God's sake, why are you not staying up today? Stay. Uh, all right, I can live with that. Where are you, where are you at? So I'm only going to do one row. I'm not going to, I'm just, I'm not going to do it again this week. Why don't I do another row? No, okay, don't keep your mouth shut. What was it? Six lots of three. I'm not going to tempt fate. I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. Get through this challenge, hopefully, without any more oh, major problems. Right, so what am I putting in? 18. So if I put in 20 and take out 2. That is 
my miscellaneous money for the week. Okay, let's just put that to one side. And then we are gonna be starting another game. So, Julie and I have both completed the Never Have I Ever. So we're rolling straight into Your Secret Safe With B. This is from the lovely Budget With Honey. Nah, I've seen a few people play this and I've had to mute it when it gets to them scratching them off so I don't actually hear what the questions are. So I've got no idea what's under these. I've got a feeling they might be a little bit more adventurous. So, let us see. So anything I save from this is going to be going towards my 10k and I think Gillian is doing the same with hers. So my 10k is going towards my sabbatical fund um, which starts next March believe it or not. It's coming around so quickly and Gillian's is going to her freedom stroke retirement fund. So ugh, wish us luck with them. So what am I going to go for? I think I'm going to go for... Oh, for Jesus. <laughs> I just can't. I'm going to go... I'm going to try and do two a week. Hence why I've set aside 30 quid. Because with this one, if you haven't done it, it's a save, it saves 10. If you have done it, you've got to save 15. So this could be a good little saver. Uh, have I ever avoided paying debt? Yeah, I mean, my younger self certainly did. I don't know. I, I, have I ever... No, hold on. Yeah, no, I have when I was younger. A lot younger. I'm talking like 21-year-old me. Yeah. You know, when it got to like payday and sometimes it was like, oh, do I pay off my top shop store card or do I have a night out? Well, I would always choose the night out. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. So that's what? That's 15, isn't it? Okay, let's... I mean, na me now, no, you, you wouldn't catch me doing that now. I just thankfully don't have any consumer debt. So I'm quite, I'm in a much better, I have a much better relationship with my money nowadays. And to be honest with you, cash stuffing has helped with that. So there we go. Um, so that's 15. I can do another one. So I'm going to go for, oh, I'm going to go for this one. Have I ever spent too much on savings challenges? I mean, define too much. I mean, I don't think so, to be honest. I think I'm relatively a low spend when it comes to savings challenges. I probably buy, I mean, I can go a month, maybe two, without buying anything. So I'd say no. I think I'll comfortably say no, I haven't. Okay, so... That's a 10, so we've got 25 in total. Okay, so we're off to a good start. All right, so that's me spending money. Where did I put that envelope? So let's just take this one out. Oh, I'll have to clean that out. It's got little, all little bitty bits in it. Right, so there we go. So that was, that was, that is, me done for oh get in oh, for god's sake um that is me done for another week my lovelies i hope everyone has a lovely rest of their sunday evening and week ahead and i shall see you next week for more of the same take care guys bye